Jesus, this morning we just stand here in your presence and we just want more than anything else to have a security that goes beyond the things of this world. We don't want to be those who earn wages just to put it in a bag full of holes. Who spend our lives trying to find and build something that can only be found and built in you and through you. Jesus, we know that your kingdom suffers violence and violent people take it by force. We know that there's a war on. We know that there's a struggle on. We know that good is being called evil and evil is being called good. Father, we see the darkness of this age that we live in. We see that there are oppressive forces trying to even divide and and conquer our very own nation of America. God, we pray this morning that you would stand with her, that you would stand by her, that you would uphold her. In this volatile time, when forces of pure evil would love to see her destroyed, Father, you've called this nation for a purpose. You've sent many around this world to declare the good news of Jesus Christ over the centuries. More from this nation by factors of thousands than any other nation has ever sent. Father, we thank you that you are with us. We thank you that you would give us, your church, the ability to stand in a confidence and a boldness knowing that you're not finished using us yet. But God, we also ask for wisdom and understanding because the way that you choose to use us moving forward might look different. Might be different. Might be opening our doors to people to be able to meet in our own homes. Might be just having more boldness and confidence to speak freely of what you've shown us. That you've revealed yourself to us. That you're no longer a mystery that we can't figure out. You revealed to our hearts and our minds that you are the answer and you are the Savior. And we've said yes to you, Jesus. And we reiterate that yes to you this morning. That, Father, we know you're the only place our heart will ever be saved. Father, may we be found in Jesus today. Father, we're overwhelmed by what he's done, but we don't want to stand on the outside just looking at what other people get to experience. We want to step through and into that place where there is only hope, there is only belief, there is only faith, there is only light. God, we know that we want to see revival in this land. We want to see revival in our hearts, but we know that it comes through your church. It comes through people who carry your presence and your spirit to this dark and dying world. Lord God, I thank you that we would see clearly. We are not a sideshow. We are not just uh, we're not an accessory. We are the full power of God revealed on planet Earth, the body of Christ standing in the midst of all that would try to take her down. Jesus, give us your confidence and your boldness as you stood, as Stephen stood, as so many heroes of our faith stood in the face of oppression, persecution, being reviled and ridiculed because they believed in a God that they couldn't see. Jesus, we don't need to see you to know that we can have a joy that's inexpressible and full of glory. So, Father, just refresh your church this morning, I pray. I pray that there would be a a refreshment, that we could walk out feeling refreshed, that we are saved by you, we are called by you, we've been set apart by you, we've been made perfect by you as we're being sanctified by that same word that you left for us. Jesus, allow our hearts to be overwhelmed with your love as we go forward. Help us not to be too quick to judge, but slow to listen, quick to listen, slow to speak. God, I thank you that you're working through us. I thank you that you're working through the ministries of this church, through our food pantry. Even today, Lord, I pray that someone would find light and hope as they come through the doors of our food pantry to be served by the people who are out there serving them even in this heat. Lord Jesus, I thank you that you have not called us home yet, but you've left us here in the middle of the battlefield to continue to be remembering we are in the fortress who is our God. Oh God, we stand firm and we thank you for giving wisdom to your church, to the leaders of this nation, to the leaders of this world, that your wisdom would prevail, that what is best for humanity would truly prevail despite the enemy's desire to destroy all that bears your image. God, help us to remember to pray, not to be so busy with our own lives that we forget to lift up this planet, the people in our own lives, but everyone that's in in any leadership position, Lord, we pray that you'd be with them that you would guard their hearts and their minds, that you'd set protection around them, that they would be able to stand for what is right and hear your voice and your wisdom, how to move forward and how to protect 
billions and billions of people who bear your image, who've received your breath through Adam. Oh God, we thank you for these days that we live in. We're not ashamed to call you Jesus and call you Messiah and to know you by name. We pray for that holy boldness to continue to grow, Lord, that our children and the people that we come in contact with in this life would continually know that we are a people not swayed by this world, but only moved by what your Spirit shows us. God, we thank you for your presence among us in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, amen.